Hi guys, Steve Strickland here with Camtech Engineering Services. I want to first and foremost wish everyone a happy new year. I hope that 2020 is getting off and running on the right foot for you. For our first Mastercam Monday of the new year, I want to cover a more admin related topic of setting up and linking your Mastercam account. There are a number of reasons why it is important that you do this, such as gaining access to downloads of the software versions and utilities, access to the technical knowledge base, as well as access to the Mastercam user forum. In this video, I'll cover each of these briefly, but let's first discuss setting up our account and linking to our Mastercam license. All right, guys, the first thing I want to do here is set up my Mastercam account and link to my Mastercam license. And I'm here at Mastercam.com and I'm going to go up to the upper right and click on login. And I come to a page here where I can create a new account if I don't have one already. So I'm going to click create one. And that gives me access to a form, a standard form to fill out, first name, last name, email address, and that's gonna create my, my account once I click here. But once I click create my account, it's gonna ask me for a linking code. And that linking code is gonna map my account to my Mastercam license. That linking code is generated within Mastercam. So if I go into Mastercam and I go up to file, down to community, and then click link account, I will get a linking code that I will copy and paste back into the website when prompted. And what that's gonna unlock is my access to the forums, my access to download of software releases and utilities, as well as the tech exchange and the knowledge base and all of the stuff that's hidden behind the scenes that require you to be an active Mastercam user to get access to. So that's, that's the first step here, creating our Mastercam account and linking it to our license. Now we'll dig in a little bit deeper into those aspects of the site now that we have access to them. All right, now that I'm logged in here, the first thing I wanna show you is the access to downloads. So I go up here to the upper right and go to downloads and go to Mastercam. We'll see that I have access to obviously the current version, Mastercam 2020, um, all the releases, including the recent patch, but I also can go back into old versions, all the way back to X3 and download any of those versions as well. Um, I can go into Mastercam for SolidWorks and do the same thing for the current version of 2020, all, as well as all the way back to X5. We also have access to the drivers and utilities, and you'll need these from time to time if you're setting up a new workstation, uh, say updating your hash drivers, maybe updating code meter, all of that, those downloads, these utilities are all here accessible because you've linked your account uh, within Mastercam.com. All right, the next item we're gonna take a look at here is the Mastercam user forum. We're gonna find that forum under communities and go to forum. And the forum is a collaborative group of Mastercam users, resellers, as well as Mastercam staff. And that staff being technical staff, as well as customer support staff. And you'll find there's a lot of interaction that's in this forum. If I go to customer forum, we'll see that some of these topics have 32 replies and over 2000 views. Um, so it's an excellent resource really to gain some insight into what other users are doing, how they're overcoming problems, and, and likely will help you on current projects, but if not current projects, projects down the road, and just learning different skills and techniques on how to use Mastercam more efficiently. So an excellent resource, and you're gaining access to this because you've linked up your Mastercam account to your Mastercam license and you're a validated user. So another great resource for you to learn uh, and expand your knowledge of Mastercam. The next thing I want to take a look at here is the knowledge base. We're going to find that under communities and go to knowledge base. And the knowledge base is basically a collection of articles put together by Mastercam staff on items that they've encountered multiple times with the Mastercam user community. So they put together these nice articles that outline um, certain problems or certain ways to do certain things. Uh, for example, this one here on how to create Milturn Chucks and Jaws. Uh, it's a very detailed article complete with screenshots that basically walk you through step by step on how to do this task. So very, very useful stuff as you encounter stuff day to day. This knowledge base is yet another resource for you to uh, get past those hurdles you might be running into. And this database is completely searchable. So if you can type in a certain phrase here, if there is a article on that or an article that references that, it'll pop up and uh, you'll get some useful information to get you past that hurdle. All right, the next time I want to take a look at here is the tech exchange. And again, we're going to go up to communities and go to tech exchange. And for this one, um, I'm going to point you into what you're probably going to use it for is tool libraries and or posts. And so for tool libraries, we can see we can 
search by keywords, by Mastercam version, or by units and filter down. And these things are free for download because you've linked your Mastercam account. We can also do the same thing over here in posts. And so for Mastercam 2020, I believe it's the version we have selected here, we see 127 posts that are available for download. Um, and we also can go here and search for say Mazak, and we'll see two posts that come back that are generic posts included with Mastercam. So there again, another useful resource for posts as well as tool libraries. And it's a resource that's available to you because you've linked your account together. And one thing I want to do here is pop back into Mastercam and show you that you don't have to be on the Mastercam site to, to access this stuff. You can access some of it directly from the community page. So your forums and your knowledge base can be accessed right here within Mastercam and it'll, it'll pop you out into the website. So this is going to close out today's video, which I hope you found useful. I hope that you join us next Monday where I will begin to cover some more of the Mill 3D tool paths in Mastercam 2020. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.